Las líneas de pipa de petróleo.
his life.
can't. You can't drink oil. Keep it in the soil. You can't drink oil. Keep it in the soil. You can't drink oil. Keep it in the soil. You can't drink oil.
Fargo. The pipeline has got to go. Hey, Wells Fargo. The pipeline has got to go. Hey, Wells Fargo. The pipeline has got to go. Hey, Wells Fargo. The pipeline has got to go. Hey, Wells Fargo. The pipeline has got to go. Hey, Wells Fargo. Disrupting the business of the bank, we are going to go and uh, support them. Feel free to go inside and support them too. Protect the water! 
protect the water, defund the pipeline, 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 protect the water, defund the pipeline. Thank you. 
and all people who are regarded as equal partners in the protection and regulation of water. In the protection and regulation of water. Peoples of the earth. Peoples of the earth are the only vehicle to promote earth democracy and save water. All right, our friends, I see some of us came out, but I think there's still some people in there, so let's... Yeah. There are a couple people on the floor. Do right, we have an update? Hold on. So the final dispersal order has been given. Um, the three folks locked down and their caretakers, plus a local doctor and a police liaison, are staying inside with them under no promises from the police lieutenant. Their demands are that the bank closes down for the day, and they will not leave until that time. So Water in the Margaret's in there as a doctor and she's not responding. Oil is death. Water is life. 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 Where do we 
stand with? Where do they stand? Who do they stand with? Where do we stand? Who do they stand with? Where do we stand? Where do we stand? Who do we stand with? Does anyone have anything they would like to say? Because everyone's fired up now.
explain where yeah where yeah 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 hey this is kevin zeese uh we're outside wells fargo in baltimore there's about 75 people here a bunch are inside risking arrest with a banner and uh bike locks to their neck mark flowers is inside as a medic and a police observer uh, she supposedly will not be arrested but we'll see when that really happens this is a solidarity action with the No Dapple movement. Uh, we are seeking to show nationwide support for the indigenous water fighters and their allies uh, in North Dakota. Uh, we'll see in the end how this turns out. So far, the crowd is uh, talking to the police, allowing themselves, getting themselves the ability to do a protest in Wells Fargo. We shut down Wells Fargo for about an hour now. Uh, and our demand is to shut it down for the day. So I don't expect the people inside to back off. They've been warned multiple times by the police and have decided to stay. Uh, and so I hope that's what's happening. Uh, we can all now watch and see what's what's going on.
with the CEO of Wells Fargo. Five people watching. That's great. Thank you for doing this.
Hey, let Shane and Eunice in with the girls inside. Hey, Wells Fargo, the fight one's got to go. And it's got to go. Hey, Wells Fargo, pipeline has 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 got to go. Wells Fargo, pipeline has got to go. Hey, Wells Fargo, pipeline. You can close your account. You can close your Wells Fargo account. We ask the city of Baltimore. We the city of Baltimore. No, no, no. Fuck that. We demand that the city of Baltimore. We demand that the city of Baltimore respect indigenous sovereignty. Respect indigenous sovereignty. By changing Columbus Day. By changing Columbus Day. Oil is death. 
Yep. Now you've realized what it's like to be inconvenienced. Because that's what the pipeline is doing. The Wells Fargo funded pipeline is inconveniencing the sacred lands and the burial sites of the indigenous. Respect.
pipeline in North Dakota and we're out here protesting in solidarity with Standing Rock uh, and the water protectors we're fighting out in uh, North Dakota. We've been out here for about an uh, hour and a half to two hours and the bank has been shut down now for quite some time. Uh, we hear the uh, there's some people inside who are bike, bike locked to each other. There's also a large sign uh, calling for decolonization and uh, the police are waiting for their uh, team that can cut the locks to show up and make that move. We heard that's been coming for a while, but it hasn't gotten here yet. Um, these are this is part of actions across the country, as people know, uh, standing in solidarity with the people of Standing Rock. We all recognize that that, that battle 
uh, going out in North Dakota uh, is one that's for all of us. It's, it's, while well, it's about that pipeline and that water, the reality is, under the Obama administration and the coming Trump administration, a major conflict is happening over carbon uh, infrastructure. Science says no more carbon infrastructure, and yet both the Obama and Trump administrations are going to be pushing more carbon infrastructure. Uh, so we'll see how it turns out. We're getting close to, uh, I think the team is arriving. They don't want anybody to see. They don't want anybody to see. Well, Mark, Margaret Flowers is inside as a medic and police observer, so she'll have a report about what, what went on inside. I love the sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. Protect the land and save the water. Down with Columbus and indigenous slaughter. Down with Wells Fargo and indigenous slaughter. Protect the land and save the water. Protect the land and defend oh, the water. Here comes Margaret. Protect the land and defend the water. Down with Wells Fargo and indigenous slaughter. Protect the land and the water. Protect the land, the water. Down with Wells Fargo and indigenous slaughter. Protect the land and the water. Down with Wells Fargo and indigenous slaughter. Protect the land and the water. Down with Wells Fargo and indigenous slaughter. Protect the land. Banks, banks, that is where you see the British companies. 
That is where you see resistance from the state. It's when we threaten their pockets. And right now, rest assured, we are threatening their pockets. The Fulton Standing Rock are threatening their pockets every day that they hold down that line. Every day that they grow stronger and stronger. Every day that reinforcements are sent in from all across the country and the world in a strong expression of solidarity. They're putting their pockets. They're wasting millions of dollars right now. Trying to push this pipeline through, but being met with constant resistance, day in, day out, all day, all day. And we here in Baltimore need to continue our resistance, continue our expression of solidarity, and allow this work to be possible. And now for an update. I want to give an update for the people can't see. They're moving a medic inside, and they have an ambulance here, so they most likely are intending to extract the phone. Um, so if you can stay, stay as long as possible, keep up the support, um, and that's all I have right now. Remember, those who stand in are facing much worse conditions right now, day in and day out. Facing much more than temperatures, facing much more police repression and, and uh, suppression from the state. And so, we need to stay here as long as we can, to help stand in solidarity. this live stream there's over 1800 people watching right now it's growing rapidly let's get this message out and the people are in solidarity with standing rock inside we've been there for almost two hours now uh, you can see margaret flowers standing right near the front here uh, she's uh, in there as a medic and uh, uh, observer and then there are people who are locked down inside uh, they're bringing the excise team to come and uh, cut their start. There's a first arrest. First arrest is happening. First arrest. First arrest, one of our supporters just got carried off. Two the air, the water. Decolonize. It looks like Thompson is helping lead the arrest. We're about to have another arrest happen, I think. One of our supporters. 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 They just took the sign. Looks like the employees of Side Wells are going to record it. Police don't arrest! Wells Fargo, 
They just took one. They arrested him. That is the second arrest still. Same guy that arrested him. had to get the cuffs on him. Uh, it looks like he's in pain or something on his face. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, start calling the Baltimore City Police Department for a demand the release of the protesters. Um, the Baltimore City Detention Center. Uh, called Central Booking. Are you next month? Police don't arrest. They're getting released. They're the post that are loose. So they're not cutting the post out of lockdown yet. Uh, they're getting everyone that's loose. Uh, and the police are trying to stand in the way of our vision so they can't get video. Uh, but as you can see, we smoke. It looks like they're arresting Sam now. Um, another one of the protesters inside. He wasn't locked down, so he was weak. It looks like they're arresting the easier folks first. Uh, Third arrest! Third arrest! Third arrest! Police don't arrest! Wells Fargo! Police don't arrest! Wells Fargo! Wells Fargo! Police don't arrest! Wells Fargo! So they've taken the water away from the three folks locked down. They've arrested our three supporters who are supporting the folks locked down. Water is life, oil is death. 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 Okay, uh, if you're looking for another stream, check Margaret Flowers MD if this one ever goes out. On Facebook. On Facebook. Water is life. Water is death. Water is life. Water is death. Water is
shall not divide. And the police shall not divide. We're inside and they're outside. We're inside and they're outside. And the police shall not divide. And the police shall not divide. We're inside and they're outside. We're inside and they're outside. And the police shall not divide. And the police shall not divide. We're we're there inside and we're outside. They're inside and we're outside. Looks like the police are trying to record as they do their extraction. I guess we're free. They're inside and we're outside. They're inside and we're outside. The police shall not divide. The police shall not divide. They're inside and we're outside. They're inside and we're outside. But this last wall shall not divide. But this last wall shall not divide. They're inside and we're outside. They're inside and we're outside. But the police shall not divide. The police shall not divide. They're inside and we're outside. They're inside and we're outside. But this last wall shall not divide. But this last wall shall not divide. So they're putting the tarp over the, uh, probably over them, or at least over their necks, to uh, protect from sparks. But it will probably be also used to hide our view in a second. Well, Fargo, divest. Share this link with folks. Also share uh, Dr. Margaret Flowers uh, Facebook Live. Well, Fargo, divest. So they're covering folks with the tarp. Police don't arrest. Police don't arrest. Well, Fargo, divest. Wells Fargo, divest. Police don't arrest. Police don't arrest. Wells Fargo, divest. Wells Fargo, divest. Wells Fargo, divest. Police don't arrest. Police don't arrest. Wells Fargo, divest. Wells Fargo, divest. Police don't arrest. Police don't arrest. Wells Fargo, divest. Wells Fargo, divest. Police don't arrest. Police don't arrest. Black, white, brown, red. Black, white, brown, red. We won't stop till the pipeline's dead. We won't stop till the pipeline's dead. Black, white, brown, red. Black, white, brown, red. We won't stop till the pipeline said. We won't stop till the pipeline said. Black, white, brown, red. Black, white, brown, red. We won't stop till the pipeline said. We won't stop till the pipeline said. Black, white, brown, red. Black, white, brown, red. We won't stop till the pipeline said. We won't stop till the pipeline said. Black, white, brown, red. We won't stop till the pipeline is dead. We won't stop till the pipeline is dead. Black, white, brown, red. Black, white, brown, red. We won't stop till the pipeline is dead. We won't stop till the pipeline is dead. Protect the water. Colonize, protect the water, the air, the land.
folks have already we been arrested for one block. We love you. We love you. We 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 we love you. So I get y'all another chance if you want to sit here. This is another call and response. So I'm going to take the first line and y'all will be after me. Let my people go! Let my people go! This is Stand Against Wells Fargo Bank and other banks that directly fund the North Coast Pipeline. I love you like you want me. I love you like you want me. Let my people go! Let my people go! Let my people go! Let my people free. I want the whole world to know. I want the whole world to know. I love you like you and me. I love you like you and me. Let my people go. Let my people go. Let my people free. Let my people free. I want the whole world to know. I want the whole world to know. I love you like you and me. 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 They chain themselves to bike locks around their necks. Thanks. Spread the love everywhere. I want the whole world to know. I want the whole world to know. I love you like you want me. I love you like you want me.
about to get the mic box off now. It should be around any time now. Look at this, should get the mic box. Right? Like, it's really easy for a cop to put with the sub. Well, I'm good. Oh, they have right. finally come out. Uh, we got 10,000 folks watching. Good thing, my bag. Uh, I can't really see what's going on in there. Um, Y'all want to give us a shot one more time? Yeah! It is our duty to fight for our freedom! The protesters have now been cut out of the bike lot. Oh, At least one of them has been cut out. The other two still have the scars on their head. And those just came off now too, so all three protesters are unchained and they're not being arrested. For those just coming in, this is a protest against the North Dakota Pipeline at Wells Fargo Bank, who is one of the direct funders for the North Dakota Pipeline. This is a direct action in solidarity with Standing Rock. They have chained themselves inside the bank with other protesters who have already been arrested. And now their bike locks have just been cut from their necks. And they should be arrested very soon. It is our duty to Now the fire department is coming in. I stand corrected. The bike locks are actually still on, but they need the fire department to cut them out now. So for those just tuning in, the fire department has now come to try and get the protesters out of their bike locks. Wait, 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 wait. This protest is in solidarity with Standing Rock. Protesters are also singing it with us. <laughs> the fire department is having struggle getting the Tell them they can shut it down. Protesters are demanding that they shut down Wells Fargo for funding the North Dakota pipeline and divesting. Currently, the fire department is having trouble cutting out their bike locks and are having discussions about what to do. For those that are just joining, this is a protest in solidarity with Standing Rock. Shut it down! One of the other demands of the protest is also for the city of Baltimore to change the holiday of Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. Two. Shut it down! We don't get it! Shut it down! We don't get it! Shut it down! 
Two, four, six, eight, ten, four, twelve. One, two, three, four. <laughs> We want freedom, freedom, all these races that are We don't need a meter. We want freedom, freedom, all these races that are We don't need a meter. We want freedom, freedom, all these races that are We don't need a meter. Wells Fargo is one of the direct funders of the North Dakota Pipeline. Which is why we have staged this protest. Fuck 12! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, fuck 12! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, fuck 12! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, fuck 12! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, fuck 12! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, fuck 12! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, fuck 12! Currently, fire department is still deciding on whether what on what the direct course of action will be to cut the protest out of their bike shut shit down. We shut shit down. So it's very slow. A lot of conversation between all the different officers inside the building on what to do. Cut the protesters out. They have tied bike locks around each of their necks and they all connected them, so they are all in a tribe. So it is very dangerous for any of the po any of the police or the fire department to cut them out because they do risk cutting their neck and severely injuring them. We have given them the option of let of shutting down the bank and we will use a key to cut to um, open up the bike locks ourselves, but the police are not responding. So currently we are waiting for the police to decide course of action to cut out the Right now, the fire is coming out. Hey, my name is Georgia. Um, I help to organize this action. We're kind of at a late stage in the occupation of the lobby of the Wells Fargo in the downtown financial district in Baltimore. Um, there's three people inside the building. They're locked together um, with bike locks around their necks. Uh, the police have tried a couple methods of cutting it off, but it doesn't seem to be working. They've definitely locked down the bank. They've locked it down for almost the entire time we've been standing out here, so it is not business as usual on Black Friday. Um, Red Warrior set out a call for Black Friday solidarity, so no Black Snake Friday. Good? So this is and why we're we here? We are here for solidarity with? We're here for solidarity action with Standing Rock with North Dakota in the Red Warrior. Camp. I don't I don't know what that is. What? That's why I'm filming it. Is that a water hose? Are you gonna shoot some water in the some kind of contraption. We've never seen this anything like this used before, at least not in Baltimore. Not really sure what machine this is. They're coming in. They're not putting the blanket over the protesters yet. Yeah, it's a Share this out. It looks to be some sort of saw. It's a pneumatic bolt cutter. It's a pneumatic bolt cutter. A pneumatic it's a bolt cutter? It's like a hydraulic bolt cutter. So like, usually they use it to pry open cars, but I think they're going to use it to like exactly. cut. Apparently from one of the people here, we they're using a pneumatic bolt, um, bolt cutter to cut open the protesters. It is usually used to open up cars. And that's what they're going to use to pry open the locks from the protesters. They have now put the sheets back over their head. Whether they've given them protective eyewear or not, I do not know because I did not see. But I would not assume that they gave them protective eyewear. And they do risk severely injuring these protesters. Standing rock. Don't need oil, don't need power. From Baltimore to Standing 
Protesters named Morgan has been released and put under arrest. She's been cut out of the bike locks. They're still working on the other two. Nora's out. The protesters and being placed under arrest. Been placed under arrest. They've cut out two now, and now they only have one more to go until. They are done with the process. outside of the jail to support them and provide whatever care they need as they exit the jail as they're released. Um, every Sunday, we also do jail sitting and jail support to help uh, express some form of solidarity to folks being released out of Central Booking um, every Sunday evening. So the folks want to stop by, drop off supplies, anything that can be given to folks uh, to help take care of them, you know, come by or reach out to one of us individually if you're interested. Um, it's something that we try and have on going and we want to make more days than one a week. So if you're interested, reach out, look up. Um, this is something that's definitely needed, that person to person solidarity on a daily basis, not just more out in the streets demonstrating, not just when we're shutting shit down, but every day, especially when our folks are being released from the beast, the beast that's constantly consuming us, whether it be a pipeline being built through rivers and waters and contaminating our rivers and waters, 
or whether it be that beast that's constantly shaking us down in the corners and shaking us down and locking us up and hauling us away. So um, if you're interested, get at me or whoever, um, somebody will probably know what's going on and what's what, so. All right, so we're just gonna hold you for a moment. We're all we got! We're all we got! We're all we need! We're all we got! We're all we need! We're all we need! Hey! Sorry, this is Margaret Flowers, and um, we're standing here at the Wells Fargo Bank on uh, all we got. Charles. We're all we got. Baltimore, East Baltimore, and, uh, we got. Baltimore Maryland, we got. Um, where six people we got. Uh, were inside. We're all we got. Uh, this year there was a group of us inside to shut down Wells Fargo we because got. of their uh, ties to the energy transfers, the corporation that's building the Dakota Access Pipeline. And so, uh, three people, three young women, locked down with bike necks. There were three other people there in solidarity with them. All of them have now been uh, removed and placed under arrest. A large crowd out here. Um, this is part of months of solidarity actions that are going on across the country to stand in solidarity with the people, the water protectors at Standing Rock. We're going up trying to stop the final leg of construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline. The pipeline that will bring oil from North Dakota to the coast to be uh, sold overseas. And uh, we're saying no to this. We need to keep fossil fuel in the ground. There's a lot of uh, concern and outrage over the way that police departments have been treating the water protectors in uh, North Dakota, violence against them, militarization. So I urge you, please, to do what you can to support the water protectors in North Dakota. There's a Sacred Stone Camp Facebook page. If you go there, you can find out what their needs are. You can find out uh, what their healing group uh, needs in terms of supplies to help take care of the people who are out there now at Standing Rock. We will post links. Very uh, cold. We'll post links on how you can do that. I myself am planning to go out there with the next trip from Baltimore uh, in December and provide my services as a medic there. I hope that others will do whatever they can. This is a, an essential struggle. This, is an, this epitomizes what's going on right now with corporate power versus human power, corporations versus human rights, and it is shutting down We're going to try to get around to the back, see if they're pulling out the protesters out of the back. Gotten word they may be pulling them out the back. <clears throat> we'll follow it and see what we can get. Keep an eye on the back door. <laughs> Once again, we're at the Wells Fargo Bank on East Baltimore in Baltimore, Maryland. We've just had protesters shut down and locked down in the locked down inside and shut down Wells Fargo. We're trying to see if we, they're going to pull the protesters out of the back door since there's so many people at the front door.
we may have spoiled their plans. <sighs> this van just whipped around the corner. Looks like they brought a little paddy wagon. So once again, everybody, you can help by beginning your boycott and divestment of Wells Fargo. Remember, you can shut down your Wells Fargo account. Send a message loud and clear. Like you kind of need one. Yeah. Would you talk? I've got a ton of people watching on stream. What's that? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Just tell them why you're here and so. I mean, we're out here to stand in solidarity with those that are standing in standing rock. Um, from Baltimore, I mean, we know what occupation looks like. We know what resistance to that occupation looks like. And we know what resistance to that capital looks like. That's trying that defends their money over our bodies and our lives, our humanity, and so. We're out here today to tell Wells Fargo to divest from the pipeline, even though we know that they may very well be a pipe dream. Um, we're still going to make our voices loud and clear and shut Wells Fargo down. Wells Fargo is currently shut down for the day, as far as we know. Um, folks have been arrested. Someone may or may not be injured. Um, but we know folks in Standing Rock uh, have been facing much worse and much more for much longer. And so we st we're going to keep standing here. We're going to keep occupying the space and holding it down until we know all of our people are safe. But we're going to continue that resistance and continue that expression of solidarity with those in Standing Rock. Because just like when everyone around the world stood in solidarity with Baltimore, everyone around the world stood in solidarity with Black Lives Matter and our resistance to mass incarceration and police brutality, we are going to keep standing here and keep fighting and keep resisting side by side, and maybe not side by side physically, but organizationally and oriented side by side to one another, struggling horizontally against those that wish to oppress us day in and day out. So thank you all for your support. Much love. Keep on watching. Keep on fighting. Keep on struggling. Shut shit down wherever you are, wherever you can. So yeah. we're going to check on those people, though. Thanks for, thanks for putting that down. Yeah. We have over 16,000 viewers at the high point. Thank you.
Where's the girls? Morgan, Nora, and Gracie are out. They went for the front. No. Oh, shit. Where are they going, Sarge? Where's the wagon man going? Who wants to know? The girls, girls still in there? No. They're all gone. Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to so, yeah. So um, so it looks like everybody's been uh, taken down to Central Boulevard. that's involved to them. Uh, go and help out if you can. And uh, this is really an essential struggle right now. And I'm just urging you to do whatever you can uh, to, to stop this. So um, this is uh, we're at Wells Fargo. This is one of several banks, over 20 banks that are involved in this project. So if you're in, involved in one of these banks, please get out of them. Get into a non-commercial, non-Wall Street bank. Get into a credit union. Um, we've got to you know, stop this assault on our communities. And that means divesting and not supporting them. So thank you very much. Yeah, well, you have a good day, all right?